Hey everyone, it's the Lego Detective, and welcome to my first Bakugan Baku Tech review. This is on Flare Dragon, the first Bakugan in the evolution line of the main characters, Bakugan of the Dragon line. This is Flare Dragon, so, um, yeah, so now that I finished reviewing all of the Japanese exclusive new Astoria Bakugan, I am moving on to my Baku Tech. But I'm going to integrate the Baku Tech reviews along with a few other different types of Bakugan. I'm going to be integrating the Baku Tech reviews with B1 Bakugan, um, just because I'm a real big fan of the older B1 Bakugan. So a few of them, like the special attack ones that I have, and just some of the more memorable ones, I will kind of integrate in. As well as some normal special attack Bakugan from B2. And maybe just a few Bakugan that I personally like, I'll just do small reviews on. So how it'll work, I'll review one Baku tech, and then the next time I do a Bakugan review, which should be a few days to about a week later, it will be on a B1 Bakugan or a Special Attack Bakugan or something like that. So yeah, because um, I don't really have as many of those that I'm going to be reviewing, so I'm just going to kind of alternate them. So this is Flare Dragon. The first Bakugan used by the main character in Baku Tech, uh, which was a manga and an anime. His name is Harubaru, and uh, yes, before I actually get into the review, the way that Dragon is spelled, it's a translation, it's spelled Dragoan, uh, it's uh, D-R-A-G-O-A-N, Dragoan, or Dragon, some people say. I'm going to be saying Dragon because Dragoan is just a bad translation. I highly doubt that the spelling of Dragoan like that was intended 100%. In the anime, like, it said Dragon or something like that, which is just the Japanese pronunciation of Dragon. So I'm, like, fairly certain that Dragoan is just a bad spelling error that was used throughout the product's or something like that. So I will be saying dragon. So just anyone in the comment section, if for some reason you just think that it should be dragon and it should be pronounced that way, well, sorry, this is Flare Dragon. However, I will be in the title, I will be calling it, I will be spelling it dragon, not dragon. So anyway, on to the review. One thing to note, mine was used and the feet are really loose. So, this gives me a good chance to talk about the entire system of the convert system. You had two different types of pieces which you could interchange with other Bakugan, Bakutech, the soul and the cross. This is called the soul, S-O-L-E, like sole of a shoe. And you can kind of see there's rubber in there, and it's a bit dried up on mine, uh, which is just unfortunate. And the cross, this Bakugan has metal cross, and it's also held in by rubber. Luckily, the cross doesn't always fall out, fall out, however, sometimes it just flies out once it lands on a card. And the soul parts over here literally make it impossible for me to roll this Bakugan. So, what I noticed, actually, is that St. Aquas, his soul parts are metal, but they're very, very similar to Flare Dragon. Uh, th that little detail right there is exactly the same. It's just the little claws which are different, and obviously this is metal. So, I actually used these soul parts, and it works a, a much better. And one thing that's kind of interesting is that this is just my spare St. Aquas. I have two. The rubber on this one is really good, but when I plug in the extra feet, just because I just keep this as an extra, when I plug in my extra feet from Flare Dragoan, they're still extremely loose. So, I think it's just a problem with the feet. Um... And I do have a few subscribers uh, that are fans of Bakugan, and one of them actually said that his feet on his Flare Dragoan are also very loose. So that's really interesting. But I'm going to be keeping it like this um, for now. Uh, so yeah, these pieces over here, those little white pieces with the dragon details, those are actually stickers, which is kind of unfortunate. And you can't really see, but right there, maybe you can. Uh, it's very hard to see, but essentially, part of the sticker just fell right off. Just because it's really old, and it's applied to metal. So what I did is I took some school glue, and this is what I, uh, I used this technique with beat -em on with beat -em on stickers. I just took some school glue, I rubbed it on the sticker, and then I just stuck it onto the metal, and it stuck. And you can barely tell where it ripped, and it's starting to peel a little bit right there, but... 
Anyway, this is a Pyrus Bakugan, pretty much obviously, and it is a dragon. You have MG, which stands for magnet, if you don't know, because the magnet is there. So let's pop him open. And uh, there is Flare Dragon. You got these really nice looking horns. You can pop them up a lot, however, it kind of advertises it to pop them up like this because they're just really long and it doesn't really look too good like that. But it's very, very, a sl it's a very sleek Bakugan. You have all this, these sleek curves. The face looks really nice as opposed to uh, Grand Dragon here. I actually have already reviewed him last year, but I will re review him because last year. I didn't really have a good uh, background to review on when I did that review. So I will re-review him at some point, uh, as well as a Zero Munichus. But yeah, you have a little tail right there, and you pop out the feet. Um, obviously, like I said, these are the St. Aqua's feet. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, where's the G-Power on mine? There we go, 520 on mine. Uh, so there's that, and uh, yeah, the cross piece just popped out. And because he has the metal cross pieces, he can spin really easily. So let me just pop this out. Okay. So you can just spin him like this. And yeah, you can just see both of the cross pieces just flew out. Just because, like I said, the rubber is pretty bad on them. So yeah, it's just really unfortunate, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just swap these feet over here with the normal ones. And I'm going to attempt to uh, actually shoot this guy. By the way, if you don't know how to fold him up, you put in the arms, you put in the wings, you put the tail in, and then the head goes in last. So I'm gonna attempt, there we go, that worked there. Uh, and in this show, uh, Baku Tech, and also the entire gimmick of certain Baku Techs, such as this one, is to get a critical KO. If you don't know what a critical KO is, it is essentially where you have, I'll just put Blast Elico there since he's pretty easy to knock off the card. It is essentially where you knock off your opponent's Bakugan and then you stand on the card. And there, that was a, ru a new rule introduced and you actually get that gate card. And if you don't know what Bakugan, you need to get three gate cards f to win. And previously, the only two ways for you to do that was... Uh, you could either get a double stand, or you could engage in a battle with an opponent's Bakugan on the same card, and if you win. So, it introduced a new gimmick, and the Dragon, or Dragoan Bakugan, they, their gimmick was to get critical KOs. And I will say that Gren Dragon here is absolutely amazing in critical KO. Uh, Flare Dragon, I haven't really been able to test that well because, um, of these annoying feet, but... What happens in the anime is the character actually kind of just flicks him to roll him. So I'm just going to try to flick him. It probably will fail because of the feet, but that is essentially what would happen. But, you know, the feet just ruined it. There we go. So that is what would happen. Um, and flicking it with a lot of power is really painful. So I recommend you try other ways to shoot the Bakugan in order to do it. And you can see the feet just came out there. But... He would try to flick the Bakugan with enough force to knock off the um, the opponent. So, uh, anyway guys, there is Flare Dragon. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this Baku Tech review. And, uh, yeah, if just take note that when you get it, the cross pieces and soul pieces might be a bit loose. But, you know, they're customizable, so worse comes to worse, you can swap them. And if you're looking for a nice looking Bakugan, this one looks good. Grand Dragon, though, I'm not really the biggest fan of how he looks. However, he performs amazing. Uh, but anyway, guys, there's my review for Flare Dragon. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.